What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm not fiction. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as notification bell to stay everything on all content going down on this channel. Appreciate you, love you. Now to the video. No, this ain't nonsense. This is non fiction. So, excuse if the content is offensive, it's official. Now that we have been acquainted, this is my pleasure, my pain. You were entertaining me. What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is non fiction, and um, we got a new trailer for y'all. Shazam. Fury of the Gods, official trailer number two uh, on the Warner Brothers YouTube page. So we're actually going to get right into it. I mean, I feel like, of course, this is kind of like a, a situation where we may lose some of the Shazam family. That, you know, I think that there's potential for that to happen. I know that, you know, they brought together this idea of them being this, this family of superheroes. Uh, we all thought it was going to be an issue with, you know, something where they're going to go against Black Adam. But now we know that's not going to be a thing. Um, so let's just see what the foe in this story or the villain in the story what what's their end game let's just see what it is you guys once again shazam fury of the gods let's get into it lucy lou we are at war we will annihilate everything champions of this realm can do nothing to stop us. Damn. You are very menacing. I just want <laughs> you to know that. <laughs> A lot has changed in the last few years. A wizard gave me superpowers. Shazam! Shazam! And then everybody got superpowers. Started from the bottom, now we're here. All right, oh, yeah. Definitely getting claimed. <laughs> the daughters A of dragon? are coming to hunt us. Children stole the power of the gods. Damn! You ripped it from our father's core. Okay, I feel like maybe I should be writing all this down. Give us the powers, child. Your world will not survive this. You want these powers? Come get them. Hey, Khaleesi! He called her Khaleesi. Oh. Oh, wow. We have one job to do. Save the world. He just truck out of the dragon. I don't know how we fight powers like this. I can't do this. Take my powers back. You gave them to me, so you would take them back, right? I spent millennia searching for a worthy champion. You know exactly what must be done. Okay, I was like, you're not gonna show that on on the trailer. To do this, we end this now. Yeah, we do. Started from the bottom, now we here. Was that a dead unicorn? What the hell? What the? <laughs> Adrukin! <laughs> oh, it is an Iron Max. Yeah, it kind of would. It kind of would have to be an Iron Max with the way that looks. It looks explosive. It looks big in your face. <laughs> you know what? Uh, here's the thing. Here's my question. How how are they gonna push this? Really push this movie where people's gonna want to care about it? Because no one knows if these characters will even exist after this movie. Because we know their uh, DC is going through a new realignment. They're bringing in. They're going to bring in new faces. Um, they're going to tone down the age of the characters because they're pretty much starting over. You know what I'm saying? And it's, that's okay. You know, it happens. Uh, DC went through some bad, you know, a bad, a bad little phase where they couldn't get their continuity together. Together, they couldn't get their full world together. But now they have new people running over there at Warner Brothers Discovery, and which is DC is under, and they're trying to, they're trying to get their story together. You know what I'm saying? And so, I would hate for them to get rid of Zachary Levi. I really like him in this role. I even like the kid who plays, you know, Billy, the who, play, who plays Billy Batson. I like that character, um, and the, the Shazam family. I think they picked really good choices. For the one, so when they when they all say Shazam and the superhero that they chain into, I think they picked really good choices for all the Shazam family uh, children. Now it just sucks that this movie 
may be the end of Shazam. And they might not do another one for four or five years because now we have this in our minds that, and they want to clean the slate. So we might not see another Shazam for a while unless they're going to keep this as part of the continuity. Now, that's the other question. If they are part of the, cur- the current continuity with something so world breaking such as this, why don't we ever see, why aren't we seeing any heroes? Because you see, there's water evolved. There's, I mean, we, why don't we see the Flash? Because we have a character that runs fast like Flash. Why don't we see an Aquaman character? That's the one thing I, that about you know big movies. I wish that we could they could coordinate those things. But just if they showed up for a quick moment just to help and be out, you know what I'm saying? I think people really like that. You know what I'm saying? I, it's part of the universe. If we're all part of the same universe, we should be helping each other survive. Um, and fight off our enemies our villains but for the most part i've enjoyed the shazam movie you know what i'm saying the first one i think the second one has the potential to be pretty pretty entertaining pretty good i'm not sure if you enjoy shazam but i do you know it's one of the characters that in the beginning of comic book history comic book lore was the only true competition for superman as far as comic book sales um and that's a whole nother story if you don't know like that's a whole nother story I'm looking forward to this movie. I I still want to watch it. I still want to watch it because, I, like I said, I like Levi as um, Shazam. I like him as Shazam, or people know as the original Captain Marvel. I hope that this story not only is enjoyable, but makes sense for what they're trying to do. Because obviously we have the, the sisters coming, the children of Atlas coming, and they've taken the, all the... Uh, all the Shazam family's powers away because they want their powers for themselves because they feel like, oh, well, you took something that was the power of the God. That was our power. That was for us to get, not for you to get. So they're taking it away. And and I think that's a, a decent storyline. Now, how formidable are they? I won't know until we watch the movie. This one, as far as the story, I just want to see what the story is. I want to enjoy the movie for what it was, for what it is. And it's coming out March 17th in theaters. Some some will be in IMAX. So if you have IMAX near you, you might want to check this one on IMAX. Uh, once again, this is Shazam, Fury of the Gods. And I think it's funny because and they first really showed the pictures from this movie. It was actually it was actually this scene they showed pictures from when they both were actually sitting at the table. They took pictures and said that they were out having lunch in costume. They didn't even say that it was it was this it was from this scene because the cups that's on the table were the same cups that he had in his hand. So so I wonder if they really ate there or he just had a drink or like some water or something because he was thirsty. Because I know them suits get hot because they don't you know they're not the most comfortable things to wear. But regardless, I I I want to see it. I still want to see it. I'm you guys you know how i am even though i know their world is being redesigned as we speak i still want to support it because I, I i like the characters i like the actors and i'm just a big kid at heart you know what i'm saying but with that being said i hope you enjoyed my reaction hope you enjoyed the trailer there'll be a link in the description for the trailer itself um more like this will get claimed so hopefully i can be able to show it to you guys because they have not only is wb who claims everything but also is drake in there so appreciate you guys <laughs> love you guys have a wonderful day night Evening, morning, noon, wherever you are in the world today, my name is Nonfiction, and thank you for pressing play. Peace, love, I'm out, y'all.